Hello, I did an endurance test flight with my Mini Talon yesterday using one of these Multistar 8 amp hour 4 cell batteries because I did a flight with this a while ago and I used approximately half of the battery and it flew for 28 minutes. So I was quite curious to see how far it could be pushed if I used all of the battery and I was estimating it could maybe even go for about an hour. Uh, it's a pretty standard build. It weighs just under 1.6 kilos, like 1590 grams I think it was. Uh, and the only thing I've changed from when I was flying it before was in my FPV setup. This is just the run cam split and the video transmitter and then a 5 volt step down regulator. So in, into the mix here I've added one of these little micro minim OSDs because I wanted to see on screen the voltage as I was flying and just sort of get a feel for how much it was changing. And this, this is sort of loosely sitting in the front of the plane so I put a bit of hot glue on there just to make sure that nothing sort of vibrated around and shook loose because I don't have an autopilot on this at the moment to take care of things if I happen to suddenly lose vision when I was far away, too far away to uh, find it by line of sight. Um, and at first I thought this micro minim OSD thing was not working properly because for about 10 minutes the voltage did not change. But it turns out that was actually correct. <laughs> Just it, it was obviously changing, but the resolution of the voltage measurement wasn't enough to measure it uh, to the point where I could see it changing. Anyway, um, and the only other thing I've changed is I cut this sort of diagonally shallow grooved hole in the upper part of the tail. So this is between the tail fins at the back. So this is the back of the plane here and the front of the plane is up there. You can just see the uh, lid, if you like, in the top there. And I did this because when I flew it in my 28 minute flight the other time and I opened it up afterwards, it was a little bit warm inside. Just the ESC was quite warm. Not to the point where I think it couldn't have gone for an hour without uh, overheating, but I just to, just to be safe I thought I'd open up a hole here. And this made quite a difference because when I uh, landed and checked the temperature inside the plane it was nice and cool um, so this really made a big difference so I'm quite glad that I did that. So as for the flight itself there's not really much to show to be honest so to just cut to the chase I managed to get 71 minutes total flying time and that was pushing it about as far as it could be taken and by that I mean I wasn't flying fast particularly I lowered the throttle to about as low as I could go and still keep it sort of feeling comfortable which was about 45 percent so this was a pretty slow cruising speed and I was just flying around and around and around in circles so there's not really much interesting video to show unfortunately I think if I had have been going in a straight line the whole time I may have even got a little bit more flight time because in theory when you're banking continuously like I was a lot of the time uh, because your wings are not level you're actually losing a little bit of lift so Perhaps even slightly more than 71 minutes would be possible if you were able to just go in a straight line out somewhere and then come back. Uh, but I can't really do that. Unfortunately I only had a 16 gigabyte SD card in the run cam split. I thought I had a 32 gigabyte one in there but um, yeah, I got it wrong. So at about the one hour mark I saw the memory full display on my FPV screen and that was the end of the high definition video. So for the rest of it. Uh, all I can show you is the uh, DVR recorded. But like I say, there's not much to see anyway. Um, so I just pushed it to about as far as it could go and when I saw the voltage dropping quite suddenly over the period of about 10 seconds it dropped about half a volt. Um, I got a bit scared and I shut the throttle off until the end of the flight but I was up fairly high so I managed to just glide all the way back. Uh, and there's not really much to say apart from that. Um, so it's going to be a pretty short video. This is about it, about all I wanted to share. But there are a lot of people I notice that are quite interested in this mini talent. It has a, a pretty good following. So I thought there may be somebody out there interested to see how far it could be taken without any special mods or anything. As far as I can tell, it's just, just a normal build and a normal battery, albeit a fairly large one. Um, so yeah, I was pretty pleased with the 71 minutes and um, maybe if you try this setup you can probably get 71 minutes too. Anyway, that's all for now. I'll just let you watch the landing. Just missed a huge puddle as you'll see at the end, but 
Miraculously, there was not even a drop of water on the plane when I picked it up.